Hello YouTube, TJ This Alive here. Today I have another knife unboxing video for you guys. And this one is actually coming from a friend that I met in a Facebook group. Um, his name is Chris. Chris, if you are watching this, thank you so much for sending this uh, for me to check out. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. I'm using my PM2, Spyderco PM2 to unbox this. Cut this box open. Okay. There's a envelope here. Let's tear this open and see what's inside. Okay. Looks like we got uh, some artisan colory knives. Let's open the box. Artisan colory, high quality precision crafted knives. Cool. And we also got the paperwork, I think. Yeah. Um, let's see what's inside this pouch cool pouch and we got the microfiber cloth gel and we got two knives let's take both out put the pouch aside for now and I believe this knife model is called BOA B -O -A. It's a front flipper. Super cool looking. Okay, let's look at this uh, green micarta one first. Take a closer look. Super cool looking. Front flipper. Let's give it a flick. Super good action. And the plate. Pretty mural finish like. Super cool. And there's some studs to open as well. And the steel is S35VN. Okay, let's see the closing action. Super smooth. Very job shoddy. I believe this knife is around two hundred dollars, and for the price, you're getting such a good knife. Super good thumb slot opening as well, and the front flipper works perfectly as well. You can do middle finger flick as well. Yeah, super good D10. And it's a it's a liner lock, I think. Cool, let's see the black one. This one has a uh, carbon fiber inlay, I think. And let's give it a flick. Super good action as well. This one uh, I think Chris told me uh, this one's brand new, so it still needs some breaking in. But the closing action is is super good as well. Not as smooth as this one, but it's pretty smooth. The detent is a little bit strong, stronger than this one, but it's 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 not bad. The front flip thing works as well. Check out the centering. Centering is good as well. This one and the pocket clip, milled pocket clip, uh, not super deep carry, but uh, deep enough, I think, and super cool. Yeah, let me know which one do you like better. 
the green micarta and satin finish, or the carbon fiber and DLC finish. I think both looks amazing, and you cannot go wrong with this for only two hundred dollars. Super good action. And let's do a size comparison between these two and my Spiracle Para 3. Let's see, it's quite similar in size with the Spiracle Para 3. So it's pretty EDC friendly. You can see maybe a, a touch longer than the Para 3. But very very similar. How about compare it to the PM2? You can see it's shorter than the PM2. How about compare it to my SPK Lamia? Yeah, it's really similar in size with this uh, Lamia as well. Almost the same size. It's pretty EDC friendly. Okay, now let's do a weight test on these two knives. Okay, let's see how much this black one weighs first. 3.083 ounce, super light. Very EDC friendly. How about this green micarta one? 3.034, so they are quite similar in weight. Um, yeah, both are super good for EDC. And if you are into front flippers, these ones are super good. And look at the blade shape, it's like a drop point, but with this harpoon style uh, spine here looks super badass and you can put your finger here when you are bearing down on like cardboard or something to give you more grip super cool the ergos are amazing just melts uh, in my hands super good and if I'm going to choose between these two I think I would go for uh, this black DLC one uh, because it just looks so badass. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, this is my first impression and unboxing of this uh, artisan cutlery boa. Let me know what you think in the comment section and hope you enjoy this kind of content. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope to see you in my next video. Take care.